Hey guys, okay, so I forgot to uh, pull some cards for you for the new moon. And I always do that because I, uh, you know, I get caught up in talking to you guys and then I'm like, oh yeah, you guys probably want cards, huh? Um, but I get so caught up in the messages I get from Spirit that I'm just like, okay, I forget cards. So I'm gonna pull you guys a couple cards real quick. Um, and I'll post this video as a part two um, on my YouTube. Oh my gosh. So these cards are really expressive today. Sorry, these cards are really expressive today. Okay. It literally gave us everything. Um, <laughs> they just shot out of the deck. They always do this, right? Every time a moon, right? What, what is up with that? Okay, so um, first one, signs. Um, all right, so it's gonna be backwards, but signs is all about, see her in the galaxy? Science is all about noticing the signs of the universe, seeing the synchronistic numbers, knowing that everything that's happening right now is going to matter later and it will come back into a coincidental circumstance for you. And really being patient and understanding that the signs will be there if you ask for them. If you're having confusion on certain things, if the emotional energy that you're trying to balance is too much and you need some clarity, ask for signs because they are ready and willing to give them to you. Our spirit guides are ready to infiltrate and work with us on um, showing us our path through signs. All right, dreams. They're also saying that there's a lot of signs in your dreams. So if you guys have been having crazy dreams, I know I've been having crazy dreams, not the best dreams, but they've been crazy. And so there are some signs in there for us to look at. Um, really allow yourself to evaluate your dreams. If you see animals in your dreams, look up the spirit animal meaning of them because you will most likely find something that resonates. Also, if you're seeing any other symbols, um, you know, numbers, uh, shapes, uh, objects that seem symbolic look up the spirit meanings of those because you'll also find signs there um, also just you know in circumstance if you're noticing that you kind of are working through something in your dreams that you haven't been working through in real life and you might need to be working on that that's a good sign for you so pay attention to that answered prayer okay so this is all about really allowing for the things that you have manifested from last month the um questions or desires or manifestations that you have asked for um from all of the tumultuous energy and chaotic energy of last month they're all coming to you the seeds were planted the desire and the will to have the answers was so present in your emotional body that those answers are really really close to being being here and really coming true and so you will find a lot of clarity and answers now since this new moon has kind of released some of the stagnancy of that energy um, from last month also, Jupiter went out of retrograde, so we're feeling the energy kind of picking back up again, which is why these answers will come back um, and quicker for you. All right, so focus. This is encouraging you to focus. Actually, this one goes in hand, they're saying. So this is the last card is manifestation. I know it's backwards, so I'm reading it for you. So this card is manifestation. This card is focus. It's asking you to focus on your manifestation, saying that the main thing to do right now amidst all of the emotional energy and the purging and the new transformations is really to just focus on what you want to create. What is it that you're wanting to bring forth from all the new learning and wisdom that you just acquired, all the new transformations, transformations that you've just had and what are you now wanting to create for yourself moving forward into this new month and into this new cycle so um, allow yourself to really focus and visualize specifically on what that looks like what picture do you see in your head when you imagine all of those things coming true how do you feel when those things come true um, what are the things that you think about or do with all of those things that have come true and really allowing yourself to feel completely with your emotional body into that new beginning so that it will manifest for you now it's all right here in front of us and ready to go so that is all of our cards all of them looking beautiful they totally just jumped out at me so we don't doubt we just go with it so we've got again signs in your dreams answered prayers are on their way 
focus on your manifestation and everything will happen. I love you guys. Have a great, great evening. Do some moon rituals tonight. Uh, light a candle. Uh, meditate. Think about the new beginning. Visualize the new beginning. Write it down and then allow for the moon to do its work and manifest it to you. See you guys soon.